Hello everyone, it's Nomad Flair here and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be sharing with you 11 tips and tricks to get the most out of your Kindle which you probably didn't even know existed. So the Kindle that I'm using in today's video is the Kindle Paperwhite 2021 version which was released just over a month ago. If you are interested in watching the unboxing video then I'll link it above right now. All of today's tips and tricks can also be applied to other Kindles also. Okay, starting off with tip number one which is to take a screenshot of your Kindle screen. This may be useful if there's important information on that page and you want to transfer it to your phone or computer later on. So to do this, just tap the top right and left bottom of your Kindle screen and you'll notice your screen will flash. This indicates that you've taken a screenshot of the screen. If you are wondering how do I view the images, considering that the Kindle does not have a gallery section, you just need to plug in your Kindle into your laptop or your iPad and then click on the Kindle storage device and here you'll be able to view all of your screenshots. Tip number two is setting a passcode on your Kindle. This is very useful if you leave your Kindle laying around and you don't want your friends and family knowing which books you are reading or muddling up the page numbers, etc. To set this up, head over to all settings device options, then press device passcode. Enter your passcode you want to use. Then confirm the passcode and then press OK. When you want to wake up your Kindle to start reading, it will ask you for a passcode. To remove the passcode, just head back to all settings, device options, device passcode, then press turn off passcodes and enter your passcode and press OK. Now you won't need a passcode to unlock your Kindle. Tip number three will extend your battery life by enabling aeroplane mode. This can be done by swiping down on the screen and clicking the aeroplane icon. Fortunately, the Kindle battery life is already quite good, but this tip will help maximize battery life even further. However, when doing this, your Kindle won't be able to connect to Wi-Fi, which means you won't be able to download any books, but you can still carry on reading your books as usual. Tip number four is for those that are highly organized, which is creating collections. In order to do this, just head over to the three dots at the top right hand side of the Kindle home screen, then press create collection. Then from here, you can give your collection a name, for example, self-help, this will give you the ability to categorize your books into areas such as finance, self-help, fiction, biography, etc. Then click OK and select the books that you want to add to this collection. To view your collection, just go to your library. The next tip is really handy, especially if you're reading a book which contains various unfamiliar terms that you don't know and would like to know what these terms mean. This can be done by accessing the X-ray feature by heading over to the three dots at the top right hand side of your Kindle screen. Then tap the X-ray option. At the top of the screen, you have several options within this feature, which includes notable clips, people, which specifies which people are in the book and the various points they are mentioned in the book. Then we have terms, which gives you a large stack of different terms that are mentioned in the book and where they can be found within the book. This is extremely useful, especially if you don't know what the term means and you want to understand when and how to use the term in a specific context. The last tab is images, which collates and shows all the images used in the book that you are reading. Tip number six is to turn on page refresh, which stops screen ghosting. Ghosting takes place every time you turn the page. If you don't know what ghosting is, it's a smearing or icing imprint that takes place, which can bother some people. Personally, this doesn't bother me at all. However, with some people, it can. The only downside to enabling the page refresh option is that it can drain the battery a little quicker and may introduce a bit of lag onto your Kindle. However, I haven't noticed any lag so far. And as you can see now that every single time I'm turning a page, it's much smoother. You won't be able to see this properly on camera, but me seeing it using my naked eye, it does look very, very smooth. So tip number seven is a great one, guys, and that's exporting your notes and highlights from a particular book to your email. So to do this, just tap the three dots at the top right-hand side of the screen, then tap notes and highlights. 
This will bring up all the notes and highlights that you've made in your current book. Then click export notes for it to be sent to your email. Then head over to your email and you'll be able to find the notes and highlights sent to you as a PDF. My number one tip which I love the most about the Kindle is the ability to link your highlights and notes to your Goodreads account. This is great as you can easily access any notes or highlights you've taken from each book and makes drafting a summary of the book a whole lot easier. To link your Goodreads account with your Kindle, just head back to All Settings, Your Account, then Social Networks. Here you'll be able to sync your Goodreads account. Then head over to your computer or download the Goodreads app and log into your Kindle account. Then under My Books, you can go to your Kindle Notes and Highlights then you can view all your notes that you've made on your Kindle. This will save you a lot of time when revisiting books in the future. Instead of flicking through the pages, all the key information can be accessed within the app. Tip number nine is enabling dark mode. This is something I love doing when reading at night as this reduces the amount of light entering my eyes and this will allow my brain to initiate the release of melatonin, thus getting me prepared to doze off. Tip number 10 is enabling the vocabulary builder, which stores any words that you've looked up in the dictionary whilst using your Kindle. This is a great way of learning new words as you can access these words at any time. So let's enable this by going to all settings, then reading options, and make sure that the vocab builder is on. Then exit and open up the book that you're reading, click the three dots and then click on the vocab builder, then OK. So this will display all the words that you've looked up in this particular book. If you've made it to the last and final tip, then you're awesome guys. This tip is to display the time when you're reading your book. So by default, the time will not show up when your book is open, which will resort to you having to take out your phone several times to check the time. Since I've learned how to do this, it's really reduced the number of distractions and has really allowed me to knuckle down and just focus on the reading without getting sidetracked. All right, everyone, that wraps up the video. If you found any of these tips to be useful, I would greatly appreciate if you could nudge the like button and subscribe for more awesome tech and productivity videos coming your way in the near future. Also, comment down below which tip you're going to be using. And until next time, everyone, take care.